here we have a kind of a segue into the, the, the manual wind watches. Now, of course, Hoyer needed a more economic model to offer in the marketplace. So they went back to Valjo and ended up with the 77 series of movement. So here we have a gold plated version with the pulsation scale uh, on the edge of the dial, which is kind of funky. Mm -hmm. uh, then we have the uh, two register version with date, um, same caliber, uh, the 7740 that was used in the black Monaco, 74033N. And then, yeah, another kind of blue dial, three register chrono as well. So, yeah, I mean, the obvious giveaway is the crown is at the standard position rather than at three o'clock, which was a technical limitation of the automatic chronograph movement. Mm -hmm. But we turned this advertising message saying, oh, now it's automatic, you don't need to wind it. So, yeah, we, we have these three weird manual things.